Uh, dear friends at Cedar Bio Grace, uh, Pastor John, I guess you know that. And I want to tell you how much I love you and I thank you for your faithfulness. You know, these last seven and a half years, you have been so faithful. And I'm, I'm very, I really appreciate it. Because of you, we're making a difference in Baytown and beyond. And you know, you should have received your commitment of giving card. And I know for some of you that it's kind of makes you nervous to make a commitment. You know, this is not a pledge, but a promise to the best of your ability that you're gonna support the ministries of Cedar Bio Grace so that we can uh, reach out to boys and girls and men and women with the good news of Jesus and make a difference in their lives. So this Sunday, we're bringing back this, uh, our cards filled out. It's really a spiritual discipline. It enables me to make a commitment and to put God first. And so this week, as you hear this video, and I'm asking you to pray earnestly and ask God what your commitment to this church, what, your, uh, what you should give as a reflection of your love for God. And also you'll notice on this, there's something about higher ground. Now, when we began this campaign in 2018, the giving started in 2019. So for many of you, your commitment, your faithful commitment ends next year. But if it already ended and you want to extend what you promised to do, there's a box for you to say, yes, I, my commitment's already ended, but I want to re-up for one, two, or three years. Maybe you were not here at the time and never gave to the Higher Ground campaign to pay off this uh, debt that we have on our new building. There's a place for you to commit as well. I'm asking for you to prayerfully consider above your regular giving to the things that we do to make a difference in lives, to prayerfully consider what you could give to higher ground. You know, what you're doing is investing in eternity. Jesus calls it laying up treasure in heaven. And I can tell you that you're never gonna regret what you've given to build up God's kingdom. Uh, we're going to be surprised when we get to heaven, all the people that are there because we were faithful. And again, I thank you for your faithfulness. Being your pastor has been such a joy and a pleasure to see all that you've done, the way you've grown in the grace of giving, in the grace of serving, and all the things you've done for his kingdom and his glory. I look forward to this Sunday and our celebration as we have a meal at 11 and 1215. We really have a lot to celebrate. We'll see you this Sunday. Love you very much. Bye-bye.